So think about every time you go on vacation and you try great food. Or think if you were a flight attendant and you flew all over the world and you got to taste all this incredible food. Think if you took all that information and came back and opened your own restaurant. I got a place where you can taste those traveling experiences. If you're in Atlanta, Georgia, you got to check out Twisted Soul. Portobello stack with dirty rice orzo. It's not necessarily your regular soul food. Candy salmon belly bacon. I come here just to get a bit of heaven. And the culinary angel is Deborah Van Trees, who took off from being a flight attendant to land in her own restaurant. Someone didn't send a memo. We can't have two bleach blondes in this show. Although it looks better on you. Deborah's taken ideas from her travels around the world and created something unique. We're going to do a little fusion soul food. Is that what the restaurant's about, is soul yeah, food? Yeah, it's globally inspired. Because in my opinion, all cultures have a soul food. You can feel the east and the west, the north and the south. Southern Seafood Louie. The Southern Seafood Louie is so amazing, so rich. The crab, the shrimp, everything was perfectly seasoned. So we're going to do a play on the little crab Louis salad. You know, the Southern Bells down here used to do that at the tea party. I've so never been to a tea party. That. I've been to a kegger. No, tea party. Tea, tea party's different. different? Yeah. So first thing, the roasted corn vinaigrette that goes on the seafood Southern Louis salad. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Right? A little olive oil blend with some onions and red bell pepper, fresh okay. corn, saute this up a bit. So this is some apple cider, okay. olive oil, cilantro, garlic powder, seasoning salt, onion powder. Next up. Oh, cakes. Don't well, you say. Now, wait a second. <laughs> I don't want to go out there in, in, into Flavortown mm -hmm. and say it the wrong way. So how would one say what we're going to make next? Oh, whole cake. Whole cake. Yes. Did I get it right? That's whole it. cake. Whole cakes. Trouble. <laughs> We've got self-rising cornmeal, bacon soda, eggs, buttermilk, avocados. I see a lot of things in whole cakes. I've never seen the avocado combo. It is soul food fused with I got California. It. I got it. So even the California bee bar. They got it. soul. We, they got soul. We do. Red pepper, onion, jalapenos, oil, cilantro. And that's all she wrote. What do we got next? Next, we're going to poach the seafood. A little oil. Shrimp her down. Shrimp her down a little Shrimper bit. Shrimp her down. Now. Lobster down. Water. Obey. A little bit of crab boil. A little bit of crab boil. Oil. Lump crab. So just that's a little it. poach being delicate. Yep, and then we let them cool, and then we'll be ready for the salad. You know that I don't often on Triple D do salads. A little arugula. But this has got attitude. A bit of attitude. Corn relish, and then the whole cake is what puts it over the top. There you go. Shrimp, add our lobster, add our lump crab, mango vinaigrette. We're going to top that with some microgreens. Too pretty to eat. It is kind of cute, isn't it? I don't typically like cold seafood, because by the time it cooks, and gets held, it's lost its flavor. You, on the other hand, you wild woman, you better blonde, that is delicious. Thank you. It's refined, it's balanced, you perfectly cook the seafood. Avocado hoe cake is a perfect compliment. There's not many salads that I would order again. I would order that every time. That is too legit to quit. We'll take that. Seafood Louis salad. Seafood Louis is great. The shrimp is excellent. I feel like I'm having uh, dinner with my salad. You got lobster, you got shrimp, you got crab. This guy needs no introduction. He is a triple D OG. My brother Gus from Marietta Diner. These, what are you, whole cakes? Whole cakes. Whole cakes. Amazing. He lives in Atlanta. What, what is a whole cake? Whole cake, a whole, whole cake. cake, I'm not sure. Either way, it's delicious. Honey Jack Wing. I was a flight attendant with Deborah. She would make dinner for us on our flights. I heard you used to make some galley gourmet. Buy ducks in London, get on there and get a whole like meal. Really? Yeah. Deborah loves people and she loves food. You put those combinations together, she really wants to feed people. Started me off with this, try this little seafood salad, and I'm gonna make this roasted corn dressing. Now what are we doing? Southern marinated fried chicken. Yeah, fried you know chicken. that means fried. treadmill. The fried chicken is perfect from the crust all the way through to the bone. Now we're gonna put some now south in the mouth. Going to the south. What are we putting with it? Sweet potato apple chutney. Let's make it happen. Start with some butter, Granny Smith apples, lemon juice, fingerling sweet potatoes. Gonna let all this goodness just simmer down together. Yeah, simmer down. Now. Simmer it down. Brown sugar. A little cinnamon in it. Little clove. A little ginger. Red peppers. A little apple cider. In the piece de resistance, a little golden, golden raisins. raisins. And ginger infused bourbon. Ginger infused bourbon. It's bird time. Seasoning salt. 
garlic powder, onion powder, and a little black pepper. And how long is it going to hang out? 24 hours. Dredge it in flour and house seasoning. And then right from the judge to the cast iron? Yeah. Hit it, don't babysit it. Now we're ready to assemble our collard green roll. Oil, garlic, cloves, onion. Peppers and onions galore. We're going to mix the greens. Turn up. Turn it up. Mustard, collard, okay. water, jalapenos. And then we've got celery sauce, red pepper flakes, a little paprika. Let that baby just simmer for about two, three hours. All right, sister, let me see it. All right, blanched collard greens. We'll try to get the big ones. Got a cooked green. Fold it up and get it done. Then these are going to sit there and steam a little bit. These are going to sit there. Get a little more tender. Yep. Now we're ready to plate the southern marinated fried chicken. First, we got some mac and cheese, the collard green roll, sweet potato apple chutney, got her breast, thigh on the side, and the leg on the other side. And then guess what? Guess Come what? Come on now. Collard green jus, the pot liquor. There you go. The chutney is dynamite. Love that little golden raisin texture at the end. Congratulations for wrecking collard greens for the rest of my life. That's mean. It's nasty. That's oh, what it is. Oh. Yeah. I want to order 100 of these. <laughs> I just good, old-fashioned, honest fried chicken. Skin's nice and crispy, holds a good crust. I understand more now why it's Twisted Soul, because there's already a band called Twisted Sister. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you are. You are one twisted sister. Thank you. Well done. So the marinated fried chicken. The chicken is juicy but crispy. The collard green roll has a little bite to it. It's a different twist, but it's wonderful. Bacon lettuce green tomato sandwich. If you want a good home cooked meal, go to Twisted Soul. She's the best. Ah. Well done, my sister. Thank you so much. Watch out for Twisted Sister and Twisted Soul. <laughs> <laughs>